Okay, babe, what's the funniest thing that's ever happened so far in our relationship? Because <laughs> okay. I want everyone to share their funny stories, but we got to go first. I think it has to be when we had zero air conditioning in our five-star beautiful hotel in Rome. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, um, we, first of all, got put into this hotel... But you really researched and everything. And then we get to the hotel and it's not the room that you paid for. And it literally looked like a dungeon. Like it was so cold. And it's just this blank room and like no real closets or anything. It was weird. No bathtub. You always clarify bathtub for me. Yeah. And I always say no feathers. I'm allergic. Okay. So that already happened. They move us to another room. We get into it, but it's not the room that we paid for. Then you... Or like, hey, we should move into another room because, like, we paid for this thing. So they attempt to move us into another room. We get into it. It's still not perfect because the air conditioner doesn't work. Doesn't work. And I literally go down to the desk and I'm like, guys, do you see the age gap relationship here? I have a woman going through menopause, which I don't. She actually hasn't gone through menopause yet, which is so crazy. I have a girlfriend with a period for the first time in my life. But she was like you did what and i was like yeah i gotta play the age card so i was like she's going through her drug. guys do you see this there's no air conditioning in there we have paid for a junior suite we need the junior suite and they did nothing about it they lied to us they gaslit us yeah. and said they were fixing it but at this point we're laughing because it was like crazy money for this hotel crazy like asking and they would say they're doing something and they wouldn't do it and so at this point it's just humorous because what are we gonna do cry like no. i mean we're frustrated because i'm having to unpack our things and our things but at one point i go downstairs and the guy who's managing it who just gaslit us three times via like the hotel text thing saying it's being fixed but we asked other employees and they're like oh yeah the guy who fixes the ac is it could be good for two days and we're like ah. anyway i go downstairs and i'm like david how many stars <laughs> not funny to anyone else and you went down in like like no bra like satin pajamas i was just like hot and pissed five star hotel and i'm like yelled from the david how many stars is this hotel he's like five madame and i was like no this is the best western and he's probably like i don't even know what that is two stars anyway and then i went back upstairs and you're like baby you just did daddy work. <laughs> like, call her daddy. I was like, yeah, you weren't going to do anything. She's so nice. You're, like, so nice sometimes. Even yesterday, what was it where I was like, why are you being so nice? Oh, Starbucks. Which, I look, we be nice to everybody, but, like, whenever, like, something's wrong, you just ask for a new one. But this girl's too shy sometimes. <laughs> You're saying, excuse me, I would love to get what I paid for. Anyway, I love you. <laughs> we just laugh about everything, though. Anyway, so I think humorous to us is, like, when something goes wrong and you choose to, like, still laugh together about it, even if, like, something is seriously wrong. Like, it was. It was seriously wrong. It was thousands of dollars down the hole, and you were so hot. Anyway, but, yeah, you laugh about it. So, tell me, what is the most, and if you're here, I know you're single, so... Tell me, in your last relationship, what was the most humorous thing that you have went through together and laughed about? Or if you were in a seriously toxic relationship, maybe you didn't laugh. Maybe it just caused more arguments because that happens. Okay, bye.